Cheers. It's gonna be a good day. Welcome back to the studio. If it's your first time with us, we're happy to have you. Today is kiln unloading number five, and it's pretty exciting. We have a giveaway today. We have an Etsy store announcement today, and we have probably the best kiln I've ever had in my life. So without further ado, kiln unloading number five. Get ready. Yeah, so how have you guys been? Did you guys see the wifey mug? It's my favorite mug. I've got about an hour here until the toddler wakes up, so I'm gonna kind of rush through this one. I think we'll start with the kiln unloading, obviously, and then we'll go backwards to the Etsy store while we're talking about new pots that came out of the kiln, and then we'll talk about the giveaway. It kind of makes sense to go in that order. Oh, sorry, one more thing. Over the last month, I've been working on a lot of new stuff, and so I am beyond excited to share all this with you. If you've been on my Instagram, you've seen some new stuff already. And so if you haven't yet, consider checking out Ceramic Gym on Instagram. I post things more frequently because I can make things, you know, every day. Videos take a lot longer to edit. It is a lot of work. All right, what do we start with? Alrighty, first things first. Ooh, got some stain tests here. Now believe it or not, John the Potter actually asked me where I get my stains from, and that's where he gets his stains from now. I get my stains from US Pigment. I discovered them a few years ago. And if you know Hammerly Ceramics, if you know Lightweight Pottery, sorry, these are annoying. If you know Hammerly Ceramics, if you know Lightweight Pottery, if you know Forest Ceramico, they get some or all of their stains from US Pigment. It is the best place in the world. Talk to Murtaza, he's the best. Um, this is a pink, actually, check it out. So here's plain. And we have, what did I do? Eight, four, two, and one percent by weight, meaning dry weight. So if 100 grams of clay, 4% would be four grams. So this is one, two, four, and 8% of this pink stain. And believe it or not, pink is actually hard to get. This is a pretty good stain. Honestly, I like the uh, plain 1%. It's nice. Anyway, all right. Tests are always good to do. Never stop doing tests. You get lazy that way. Ooh. Okay, you saw this one in the Rainbow Mug episode. So this one I actually glazed over the handle and the bottom and the top, but I love the color combo. And the glaze are not great. I have this like milky white, it was called opalescent. Love that. All right, let's keep going. Well, I'll save this one for later. I'll save it for last. Ooh. Okay, so I've been doing some new work, as you might know, if you've been on the Instagram, um, with this kind of like, kind of marbled stacked stuff. This is just a glaze test. I have uh, two different clear glazes on here. I have this white on either side, and then I have both clears along the middle. The thing about clear glaze is that they're tricky, they don't always fit, they craze, they crawl, they are sometimes cloudy or pity. So, I'm trying to find the best clear for my clay body. Another clear test. Here's a cool example of the back, actually. There you go. It's a variety of marbling. Cool. Oh. A little rainbow rock. Silk. Ooh, yeah. It's probably my first colored handled piece I've ever made. This is some agate ware, if you consider it that. It's got the swirls on it, some colored clay. I used every color of the rainbow, minus purple. I used like a deep blue for the purplish part, an ultramarine blue. It has a good feel to it. There's the bottom. A little JF. And then I kind of did this cloud kind of a thing, you know, like a rainbow sky cloud. I like this. This has a good feel to it. Ooh, this shrunk a lot. Holy cow. This was in the rainbow mug video as well. It's hard to see. It looks mostly orange and red in here, but there are a lot of details close up. Let's see if I can zoom in for this one.
Look at the bottom too. That's probably the coolest part, I think. This shrunk a lot. I don't really know how I'm organizing all this stuff, but for now, put it there. All right. Clear cup, nothing fancy here. Just testing some clears. Kind of a cool form, simple foot. Another test of a glaze I was using. This one has a lot of variety where it gets thicker. It goes kind of a metallic brown. And when it breaks thin, it goes green orange. It's not a really cool glaze, but I gotta figure this one out yet. Moving along here. Cone packs. There's cone six. Self-supporting cone. If you haven't had these yet, these are really great if you wanna test if your kiln's working. Even if your kiln is electric and you have a computer, you should still test it every now and then and see if the elements are working or if the thermocouple or whatever is all, you know, um, what's the word? Calibrated. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, I put one of these in every, every shelf of the kiln, like well, at least top and bottom to see if it's the same. All right, let's find some more pottery here. I have more colored clay. I have Narokomi stuff. I have agate ore stuff. Got a lot here. I'm gonna hide this one to the end. You've probably already seen it if you're on the Instagram, but if you haven't, you'll have to wait. Here, about a shelf and a half down, here is cone six. So a little more bent, maybe a little overfired, but my clay body can handle it. Maybe that's perfect. Is that what it's, no, it's supposed to be 45 degrees, right? From the, so I think it's a little bit past 45, but still. It's good to know, it was actually hotter below. That's odd, isn't it? So we have middle shelf, top shelf. Interesting. I don't really know what that means. All right, cone seven just started to go a little bit. Cone five was buried. Had no chance. All right, ooh, here we go, I'll show you this. I have a new clay body that I've mixed up myself, I've been using. This is from the new clay body. You can see how white the white is. There's no glaze here besides clear. It's kind of a cool canvas. My, my shirt's kind of great for this, isn't it? There you go. It's a perfect canvas. Actually, these are the new clay body too, to be clear, but they're all colored, but this is a nice white, you can see. This is a test for clear. Looks good so far. All right, moving along here. I got some more clear tests. I'm not gonna go through these really. They're just things to see if, a couple of random forms and a couple of, uh... wow, that's beautiful. This is a good clear. This is a trans, this is a translucent clay body though. Hold on a second. You might like this. Where's my phone? Oh, there it is. Hold on, we gotta try this out and see if it's actually translucent or not. Ooh. <laughs> it really shows you how uneven your throwing is sometimes. Check out that. Very thin at the top. This is translucent too. I don't know if we'll see through it though. Ooh, a little bit. Couple more, couple more. Oh, I can, I can brighten the flashlight too. This one's really thick, but I bet it will still shine. Wow, look at that. Ooh. So the question is, why would you want a translucent clay body? Well, first of all, it's really cool, as you can see. But I have some ideas on how to make the most of and how to take advantage of the translucency of this clay. And I'm probably going to make it even more translucent in the future. Translucent clay is not very user friendly at times, but if you have the right combination of things to make it work, it's doable. This is too. Or this is this. Yeah. See, once you add colorants, it's kind of hard to see through. <clears throat> Let's see here. More. 
That turned out disgusting. Ooh, yeah. Last but not least. Cool. All right, lights back on here. Can't do this anymore. I think I found my new clear, everybody. All right. Ooh, this one. This one, everybody. Wow. That's nuts. I'll look at my book real quick. I'll write down what I glazed that one real quick. Really? No way. Huh. Must be way too much. This one's nasty. It's First of all, it's really cool. Um, it was this like wood grain mug I made. Got a white handle over there. This was a test. It did not work out. Huh, interesting. Probably just too much. All right. That turned out lovely. I've had this one sitting around the studio for, gosh, months. It's from a very, very old block of clay. Half white, half, you know, this is a Narokomi block, but half a sedimentary rainbow rock. Yeah. This is a keeper for sure. This is the, this is pre-JF stamp too. If you thought, those of you who haven't been following along since the beginning, I have a better stamp now. If you want to be professional, stamp by hand. You guys ready for this? This is the newest and the best Narakomi I think I've ever made. Well, Narakomi wrapped into a cylinder. See this? This is a Cohen 6 porcelain, a translucent clay body, although this one is really isn't about using the translucency, it's just I use it for it. But this right here is the, the plain clay. It's so white. It's so white. Um, about 8% black, kind of marbled up, inlaid orange clay for lightning. Got some cloud glaze in the top. Gosh, guys, look at this. I'll get out of the frame. Look at that. Whoo, this makes me happy. This makes me very happy. Whoo, whoo. You know those moments when everything just works out really well? It's one of those moments. All right. These are some translucency tests. Ooh, really thin. Wow. Yeah, I bet this is super translucent. We'll do it later, you get it. I have a plate down here too. There's the baby cone. Melted nicely to cone six. All right. What do I have in here? I'll save the plate for last. It's a great glaze. It's just a tiny, this tiny little bowl I'm, I'm looking at. Um, just to test my new clay body, this is, yeah, you can, I don't know if you can tell from looking at the clay, but it's almost as if the clay is its own glaze. When you have a translucent clay body, it means it's like hitting max maturity. And also there's probably the lowest amount of iron in there. Um, yeah, this is a great glaze. Can you guys hear my newborn up there? Cheers. All right, more pottery, more pottery. Got some more Narakomi. Got some marbled stuff down there. A little bit of agate work. This was a, a clay test. I guess it's probably a napkin ring at this point, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This was me testing the black and white clay body, which I think it looks great. Look at this. 
I want to sell marbled coasters with all of my marbled agate wear kind of work. That's sweet. This is this is a small one. That's why I tested it on this one. I, I have bigger ones. But look at that, right? Like, wouldn't you want to buy this with that, right? Especially because I used the same clay. Look at this. What do you think? It's like a pasta bowl. It warped a little bit, so I got to work on that. But uh, maybe, maybe I like that. I don't know. Pretty sweet. Got the clouds over the top. That sky. Hmm. Yeah. That's it. I wish I had more. I almost forgot, actually. This was the one I hid from you in the very beginning of the video. Look at this. my first Narakomi mug ever. This is a beautiful piece of pottery if I say so myself. Very comfy in the hand. It has yellow lightning and then a variety of black, gray, and white clay. It's got the JF stamp on the bottom. Then I have glazed over the areas where the handle attaches. Again, until my handles are perfect or as close as I feel like is good enough, and I trust them, then maybe I won't glaze the handles as much, but I kind of like how the handles look. What do you think? This one's a keeper. Okay, now give me a moment. Okay, let's talk Etsy store. When people say, do you sell your work? Do you sell your work anywhere? And the answer I always say is work on it, or, you know, soon. I'll let you know when I get one. And so the other day I signed up for an account. I haven't opened anything yet, but I did the first step and I want to open one to just get some work out there and see what happens. So I'm asking all of you, I think I'm gonna open the store in two weeks, which is when I'll announce the giveaway winners for this. Um, and so I'll have the giveaway and then people that don't win have a chance to purchase the work on Etsy. That's the plan. And so I'm asking all of you, I have questions. Um, out of all my work you've been, and if you're new to the channel, check out some videos. I'll put a card up here to a playlist. You can see what I make. If you were to buy something, are you more interested in the kind of rainbow swirled agate wear, marble clay things that I do on the wheel? Um, or are you more of a kind of a Narakomi slab built handmade person? Or maybe, gosh, maybe you want some of these really cool coasters. I'm stoked about these. This turned out great. Or maybe you want a plate. Looking to get a really cool Narakomi plate. I'm curious, if anything, or definitely, what you'd want. But anyway, so giveaway details. Um, here are your choices. Number one, and these are pieces that I, I, I enjoy. I think they're great. I'm okay with putting them out into the world. Uh, I'm not giving away this. I think I need to work on this a little bit. Um, and I just can't part ways with it just yet. <clears throat> but these three pieces that I've prepared for you, I think, uh, I think you'll enjoy. Number one, there's only a few of these in existence. I have one more left. It has a white half. This is number one. We'll call it like the sedimentary rock cup. It's got a rainbow bottom as well with a vintage hand signed JF. However you want to spin that. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. Number two, we'll call it the rainbow tumbler. This has the new JF stamp on the bottom. Gosh, look at that foot, guys. Look at that foot. Okay, cone six porcelain, nice white liner. And then third, if you're a mug person, the rainbow mug. This has very rich reds and blues, and you can see hints of orange, yellow, and like a bluish turquoise on the area that didn't get as much swirling. It's got a nice white liner. It's got a nice black handle that breaks, um, breaks through the white glaze. And it has a rainbow foot with stripes. Which one do you want? Um, first things first, if you could give this video a thumbs up. I can't prove that you did it or not, but it'd be cool if you did. That way other people can see the video. Um, second thing, comment below on your choice. 
number one, number two, number three. Um, in order if you want, I'm gonna give away all three I'd like to. So put your order so I can choose your second choice or your third choice. And then, again, I can't require you to subscribe. It'd be cool if you were subscribed. I'm trying to grow a channel here. Um, the best way you can support me is by commenting, liking videos, but ultimately subscribing so you see more. Um, if you like what you've seen today, or check out some more videos first and you know, kind of test the waters if you will, and if you feel like I add value and you want to see more, then consider subscribing to help the channel grow. I would really appreciate it. The last thing everybody, before you sign off today, I had a giveaway over a year ago for 500 subs, and after I announced the giveaway, two people didn't get back to me. Like they didn't watch the video, like they commented and then they won and they didn't get back to me. One person did, Mark, hopefully you're still watching. If you wanna win one of these three pieces, please, please, please be ready to check in later to see if you've won. I'll have you message me on Instagram. That'll be at Ceramic Gym. And if you want to, honestly, check it out. Nothing's worse than announcing a winner and then like you not wanting my work. It's kinda of sad. So that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing helps the channel grow, makes me happy. Yeah. <clears throat> Comment below on your choice and we'll check in in two weeks for the giveaway and we'll see who won. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. And now some more glow tests. Before the battery dies and before the toddler wakes up. I mean, they're, they're glowing. I don't know how else to really show you that they're glowing. Here, look at that. You can even see the underglaze through the back. It says LG for LG10. Ooh, very thin. Is this, is this translucent? Ooh, it is a little bit. Hmm, who would have thought? This one isn't an old translucent body, but it does, no. Yeah, see, that isn't a translucent body. How about this one? Nah, it's my hand. Just kidding, I'll see you later.